as we continue on in our multiplication skills, um, we want to cover whole numbers and decimals. Times in a whole number, such as 37, multiplying that by a number that has a decimal in it. Okay. As you can see, I've set it up according to the algorithm. Really, there's no difference when you are doing the multiplication part. It's just with the decimal, and I'll teach you that in just a moment. So, we have 37 times 1.2. First thing, really, is to ignore the decimals. You have to remember them later, but you can ignore them for now. So we start off just like in the algorithm. 2 times 7 is 14. Here, the 1, 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. 0, exact same thing. 7, 3, add them together. So that one works out nicely. Now, here's the trick. When we have a decimal in the problem, we have to have a decimal in the answer. So when I am looking at this, what I'm looking for is any digit that's behind the decimal, to the right of the decimal. Okay. I see, no, nope, no decimals, because here's our decimal point. There's no digit behind that, and we have one digit behind the decimal. So I just underline that to remind myself. So one digit behind the decimal, or to the right of the decimal, in the problem. So it makes it really easy. One digit behind the decimal in the answer. So one digit, and then I put my decimal point right there. So, however many digits are behind or to the right of the decimal in the problem, same amount in the answer. One digit behind the decimal, one digit behind the decimal. Let's look at that again. You can already see that there are one, two digits behind the decimal in the problem. So be thinking how many digits are going to be behind the decimal in the answer. As I go through this, it's just the regular algorithm. 5 times 8 is 40. Here in the 4, 5 times 6 is 30, plus 4 is 34. 15 plus 3 is 18. The 0, because that 4 is 40. So 4 times 8 is 32. 4 times 6 is 24, plus 3. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2 is 14. Add them up. 15 carry the 1, 6, and that. Now, because there are two digits behind the decimal in the problem, two digits behind the decimal in the answer, and voila, 368 times 45 equals 165 and 60 hundredths, or 165.60. Um, another note, anytime you're multiplying by a number less than one whole, the answer is going to get smaller. Most of the time when we're multiplying, we're looking for bigger numbers. 37 times 1.2 is 44, so we look for our product to be larger than that. But we're timesing by less than one whole. This is almost right around one half, so half of 368. Okay, so just be looking for that. Any number we multiply that is less than one whole, it, the product will be smaller.